All right, here we are at lot 52. Again, a big old piece of property with a road kind of cut in. Mixture of trees. As you can see, right down that way is the lighthouse restaurant. And there's Mountain View Point subdivision. And this is the road here that would take you all the way back to through Pickens into Greenville. Nice thing about this piece is that it uh, is very, very big. Um, you do have some power lines next door, but uh, you could certainly get rid of that if you had the, uh, with all the size, you wouldn't really notice them on to your right there. But we'll get down to the water frontage and uh, middle lot and take a look. All right, we've come way down the lot already and still got plenty of ways to go to get down to that pond area and water. As you can see, I'll keep on going until we get down to where a home site would be. Now I've come a little bit further down the road here. See there's a beautiful big oak tree up here. And uh, this is mostly the lot over there. Um, you'll see here there's a orange tape on the tree. And that is the lot line. So the lot goes actually this way. Over here. Okay. Now that's the pond that we're looking at, and it is discolored uh, right now. We just had huge rains for the last couple of days, so that's covered or caused some of that. Probably you'll notice the one feature that I would say is maybe the potential is that you've got a tower really over on the next piece of property. I guess the nice thing about that is, is it provides additional um, buffer between you and anybody else but uh, and if you see through the trees here you can see the roadway for Waterford Ridge on the other side through there so there's an interior property up above it there and then there's waterfront properties over there that are built on and then you can see the lake there in the distance and where the dock would go would be down in there we'll head down there now And I would assume the house, again, would be, you know, you'd probably try to put it as close to where I am right now as you could. Somewhere in this area, being the back of the house, and then get you kind of close to the water, maybe over there to the right just a little bit. Now I'm at the waterfront, as you can see, there's the lot line there, going back in that direction. Now here's the water frontage. If you look there, you can see the spillway from the pond into the lake. And this is the water frontage for the property. Now with this one, I would definitely recommend getting a uh, dot guy out here to see what you could potentially do. Um, as I talked about there, the community docks right there. Obviously not a lot of use in those. It's kind of uh, intermittent as far as people coming in and out. But uh, this one is certainly potential. Again, this is about as bad as you're gonna see the water because of the water level being down one, plus that big rain yesterday and you're seeing some discoloration in the water coming into the lake right there. But when you get out here, it's, it's very nice. Uh, the water would go back up into that area in the case that uh, it was up the full pond. But again, key with this one is going to be what kind of dock you can put on it, uh, but I would imagine you get a pretty good deal on this piece of property. Here's a shot from the opposite side where I was standing a second ago to try to get some of that sun out of the way. But uh, again, this is where the water's coming in from the pond here. Uh, again, very private. Once you get back to your spot, you know, nice little area, good water. But, like I said, see about the dock.